It's like every just which way we look at any moment, there's some form of action going on. If you're confused, well, so are we. Let's break this down. But right now we have youth versus wisdom. The young team is the big team. The green team is the older team. What's gonna win, youth or wisdom? What you're seeing here is a youth versus masters competition between rural sports teams in the Basque country. This is a region within Spain and Southern France with an identity and culture completely their own. Not even the Romans and other empires could subdue the people here. And thus, their traditions hold strong with ancient roots. To top it off, the language here is argued by some. To be one of the oldest spoken tongues in the world, having no known ties to Indo-European languages. For centuries, they've mastered their everyday labors and transformed their work into challenges to settle bets. Good news, guys. The I Am Strength Strength and Known shirts are on pre-sale right now. Go to barbellapparel.com and get yourself some. Enjoy the show! As an athlete, I've always been fascinated by the limits of human strength and the ways we can defy gravity. The rogue documentary La Fantadores introduced me to the world of Ari Yasotze, also known as stone lifting. From this, I knew I had to experience this art form firsthand, so I embarked on a journey with my great friend and producer of the series, Romark Weiss. Our destination? Bilbao, Spain, where we met with Alex, a knowledgeable local who provided us with valuable insights and helped us plan our visits to other stone lifting Basque, schools. Basque uh, used to be banned here, so yeah. during the dictatorship you couldn't speak Basque, and uh, there was no public education. It was sort of clandestine, people who learned uh, Basque see, in yeah. the city, you know, Euskera in the wow, city. Okay. Whereas in the countryside, you know, people kept on speaking it. Um, yeah. Now things have uh, changed and uh, there's public education in Euskera and so on, so... And now the young people are yeah. l learning more Basque, that's really cool. Yeah, yeah. They, or Euskera. Alex took us to the metro where the city displayed pictures of the Basque sports along a subway corridor. Before there were competitions, there were challenges, you know, yeah. so me against you, who can lift this stone more That's times right. in 10 minutes. He explained how stone lifting is not just a sport, but rather an integral part of Basque culture. One man's unique contribution, in particular, surfaced and caught my attention, Iñaki Perodena, who perfected heavy stone lifting. A crucial piece for lifting heavy stones is the stone vest. Maite, Inyaki's daughter, needed to take measurements to craft mine. We just made it to Letza, which is a beautiful town. But we are trying to get uh, Martins' stone suit fitted. There's only one shop in the whole Basque country. This is the only official shop. And the, sh the shop is called 301K. Hey, hey! I have arrived! We came back! It's crazy! I am so happy to be oh, here! Hi! Hello, Martins! I'm so happy! Hey, I, I haven't been here. Ah, you lived the Ah, and my father! Oh, no all way. the people! Oh, He's in Yaki! What a pleasure! Yes. Martin, Lissi! Yes! Oh, yeah! Yes. Oh, yeah! Bueno, bueno, bueno! This is amazing! <laughs> the legend! I think I just met my new hero when it comes to this sort of training. Inyaki is one of the greatest heavy stone lifters, not just in the Basque country, but the world. This is a man that has countless incredible feats of strength, including a 210 kilo, 462 pound Atlas stone to the shoulder, world record that still stands today. Ni Iñaki Perurena naiz, eta nere bizitzako berrogeita bat urte harriak altxatzen pasaditut. Nik maite nuen harri altxatzea eta harri altxatu nahi nuen. Orduan, ibili nitzen harri mota guziekin eta esku batekin, biekin, kubika, borobila, kuadroa, zilindroa, jasoaldi bat, iraupeneko proa, denetik pixko bat itxia guztoko izan dut. Lenda biziko, aipamen, idatzia, euskaldunak, harria altxatzen zutela, duela bosteun urtekoa da. 
As we wandered through his museum, it was fascinating to see all the different variations of stones, photos, and history. He told us stories of his early days, transporting us back in time to the beginning of his career. Eta hogei urtekin, izan zen e, nere aurretik, bazen gizon bat, e, berreunda berrogeita mar kilo jasoaldiak egin zituena, eta nik hogei urtekin, e, arri pixu hortakoakin, ja jasoaldi gehiago egin nituen, eta handik aurrera ba, errekorrak eta horrela. He even taught us how to pronounce stone lifter in Basque. Arri jaso tzaile, arri jaso tzaile. Itz batean, iru elkartzen dira. That's not fair, you had modern technology. <laughs> the Basque people have a great fitness because everywhere there's hills and mountains. God, just go to the bathroom, you probably have to climb up a hill. I bet you. Beyond the museum, the property offered hiking trails that we explored, passing by impressive statues that were crafted by him and his son. Olentero, this is the equivalent of the Basque Santa Claus. Olentero. Polilla da, vera onera etortzea eskertzekoa da. Atzenean munduan hainbat tokitan gauz ezberdinak egiten dira. Baina politena hemen bertan Euskal Herrian bere tokia izatea. There is something truly special about experiencing the history and cultural identity of a place like this. I can't wait to get my hands on some of these Basque rural sports. In the short span of time we were here, I needed to get the right equipment, a coach and of course whatever little practice in that was possible. I was eager to get started. It would have to wait just a little bit longer because this wasn't the only phenomenal experience to take in as next we travel to Getxo to discover even more strength unknown. So this is what we call a probaleku. So it's world uh, uh, traditional stone dragging contests were held. Uh, so originally it was mostly animals, the ox, the horses, the donkeys, uh, whatever. Uh, there were challenges to see who could uh, drag the stone for the longest distance, over 30 minutes. Then you also have the men's contest, the so-called Giza Prova, which is with lighter stones like this one, 800 kilos. And then it's, it's the same uh, contest, but for uh, a single man. So here we are. This is the school in Getxo, run by Felix, uh, but they typically call him Ogi Kinye. Ogi Kinye is, uh, means bread maker in bread Euskera. So yeah. my, my coach, uh, that's his uh, profession. Yeah. He's, a, he's a bread maker and he's a stone lifting coach here. Uh, here you have the whole uh, uh, Getxo rural sports team who train for different kinds of sports. Very cool. So I'm a bit nervous because tomorrow I have some heavy stone lifting to do. Nice, Today nice. I need to pull back, not do anything too crazy, but it's difficult because I'm looking at all the cool things here. We just have these heavy stones, like 800 kilograms that were meant to uh, drag. And we got a car over there, which is what the uh, Conan's wheel that we do in competition is based off of. Only thing is they go sideways like a crab. So uh, I'm going to have to really pull back and hopefully not go too hard so I have some energy for tomorrow. But I still want to give it a good shot. For the stone dragging, we use uh, this blanket. It's, it's for uh, taking here protection, okay? Yeah. Because when you grab the stone, the belt, usually goes, goes down goes down against your, your legs ah, and so then you can hurt them okay yeah and we use this for protect, protect. yes we pass the chain we take it Whoa. from here wait a minute because i think <laughs> yes that's right and then we use something like this to engage it Okay. Oh. Let's start with the small guy. Just don't crush my legs. Then I'll move on to the big one. It's one This is normal here, eh? Don't worry. Come on. Right, left. Okay. You drive it very well. Okay. Right, left. Okay. Okay, use your body. Don't do... Okay. 
Okay, wait. Yes. The, the move is like that. You don't have to hit the stone, okay? Wait the stone? Oh, okay, I move it. Yes, that's right. With the other, you have to stay lower, you understand? Like how, the, how you move this easily, you can do, uh, make steps. Yeah. That uh, in the case that of the other, you, you have to, to really wait it more to wait. move it, okay? Yeah, because... You will move it easily, I feel eh? if I wait too much, it'll... Ah, okay, yeah. yeah. You, you think that you fall? Yes. Uh, you fall no, no, don't worry. Okay. Throw your body, venga. Okay, throw your body. Yes. You see? You see? Yes. Throw your body. <laughs> Throw your body. Okay, very good. Okay. Remember, eh? Breathe all the time. Breathe. Use the same time to hit the stone, the same time, all the time. Five seconds or six seconds, what you want, but all the time. Yes, that's right. Oh, that was awesome. Just trying that 800 kilogram stone drag. These guys do it for 30 minutes, that's unbelievable. So, although I could add more power into it and kind of perform it like a sled drag or a chain drag, you can't do that for 30 minutes. So it really is about a balance of trying to get your breath and the most efficient technique that uses the least amount of effort that you could do for a lot longer of a distance and time. Guys, half an hour. That is the kind of time frame that they're working with. So sometimes not even the biggest guys will be the best at this event right here. Because uh, you got to have the cardio and the work capacity to go that distance. All the stone dragging almost makes me wonder if it's the origin of the sled drag or chain drag that we see in the competition. I mean, probably not, but goodness, so many of these events remind me of the events that we do in our strongman competitions. Speaking of which, right now I have the cart, the, what do you call this? Uh, so uh, what's the, uh, yeah, this is a cart lifting cart, contest. Cart lifting contest. Yeah. yeah. It looks just like the Conan's wheel that we do in competition. Orga Yokwaren, also known as the cart game, has its roots in a centuries-old practice where farmers had to pick up carts sideways. Today it has evolved into a competition where participants must carry a 200 kg on-hand cart sideways as far as possible without any time limit. You may have seen something similar as the world's strongest man adopted this event in 1989 and ever since it's transformed into what we see in strongman known as the Conan's Wheel. How oh, fun! <laughs> the origins. What was it? The origins of the Conan's wheel. This is the real thing. Well, that was an interesting experience trying the cart because this is just like the Conan's wheel, only you have to walk sideways like a crab, and that is core strength to another degree. It's like you have to use torque and twisting. I like it. It's awkward. It's but definitely, it's definitely it's awkward. It's a different feeling for sure. Imagine a zombie squat. You, you guys done zombie squats with us? But walking sideways like a karaoke. That's what it felt like. Karaoke. It's like a weighted karaoke. Yeah. But it's zombie squats. <laughs> zombie squat karaoke. <laughs> Conan's wheel. I, I want you guys to try like, this in your gym. I do. Get I hope squat. other people get to try this because it is very similar, obviously, to a Conan's wheel. A lot of the same uh, principles apply but there is just this other element of having to twist your hips into it that adds a whole level of difficulty. Um, and of course the cart is made of wood, so it's even more unstable and wobbly than the metal Conan's wheels that I'm used to in competition. All in all, I love it. That was very fun. The journey had only just begun, but I knew the best parts were still yet to come. Remarkable strength doesn't just appear on a professional, international level. There's people of monumental ability to be found in all corners of the world. The athletes I've met here have all been amazing. 
However, it was through visiting Iñaki Perurena and his museum, finding out about his various heavy stone lifting world records that lit my heart ablaze. I'm here on a mission to try and absorb as much as I can, but what I can't wait to get my hands on are some heavy traditional Basque stones to see what I can do. Before we show you guys the preview, just want to remind you guys that the Strength Unknown t-shirts are on pre-sale right now. Just go to barbellapparel.com to get yourself some. Also, you could help out by getting yourself some Podium. It's my favorite protein company. It makes me jacked. Now, here's a preview. There we go.